Multisim abstracts away the complexities of simulation through a highly graphical approach. Let's take a look at this by first placing a measurement probe at the output of our filter circuit. Double click on the probe and set the reference designator to BP underscore output. This will make identification of the measurement point easier when we are doing an analysis. New in Multisim 11 for professionals is integration to the NI Elvis hardware. The eight instruments on board the NI Elvis breadboard and prototyping station can be accessed through soft front panels in Multisim, allowing you to correlate simulated and real measurements. If you install the Elvis MX drivers, you will have access to instruments, including the NI Elvis oscilloscope. You can connect the oscilloscope to the circuit as we would any other simulation driven instrument. If we begin simulating, we can visualize the circuit behavior in this brand new interface. Next, let's take a look at the 20 analyses available in Multisim, including AC Analysis, DC Sweep, and Monte Carlo. Simply select Simulate and Analyses. Here, you'll notice a brand new single frequency AC analysis. This will allow us to view the gain of a circuit at any given frequency. As we open the interface, we can set the frequency at which our new analysis will operate, 2 kHz. You'll also notice the output, which will be magnitude and phase. Let's select the output tab. Here we can select the points of interest. You'll notice that we have already set the voltage at probe underscore LP out. Let's also add the voltage at BP underscore output, the measurement probe we have earlier placed. As we click simulate, you'll notice the grapher displays the analysis node, frequency, magnitude, and phase. Although Multisim abstracts away the complexity of SPICE with a graphical interface, you still have easy access to the simulation models of your circuit with the all new SPICE viewer. Select view and SPICE viewer. The SPICE viewer docks in the left hand side of the screen. We can scroll through the viewer and see the various SPICE code associated with our filter design. The SPICE viewer can be quickly updated as changes are made to the circuit in order to synchronize both SPICE code and the schematic. Let's replace our op amp. We'll select a 3554 family of op amp and then click OK to place. You will notice that the op-amp has been replaced in our schematic. Next, we click on the refresh button and scroll the SPICE viewer to see the added 3554 model to our design model. All of these simulation features show you how you can simulate better with Multisim.